Meghan has let go to escape the terrible royal family, what does Greer say about it? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's marriage will not last and the princess-to-be will bold to get away from the horrible royal family, according to outspoken feminist Germaine Greer. The radical feminist said the biggest challenge for Mies Markle will be just putting up with it, said Mies Greer. Mies Greer has lived in the UK for over 50 years where she has formed strong but negative opinions on the monarchy which she calls the firm. Referring to Mies Markle's failed marriage to Grevery Engelson, she said, I think she'll bolt, she bolted before. But she said the common enemy was the royal family, not Meghan or Harry, adding, I hope in a way that she'll bolt, but maybe she'll take Harry with her, the staunch Republican said like Princess Diana. Mize Markle will feel oppressed and stifled by her new family, saying, it's nearly always a question of the non-royal running for the hills just to get away from the whole thing. It's horrible, it's anachronistic. While most people are enthralled by the romance between the royal couple and looking forward to the wedding on May 19th, Mize Greer has already predicted their separation. She thinks there could even be a divorce, saying they're everywhere in the monarchy. Meghan Markle, 36, has given up a Hollywood career, her home in the U.S. and a relaxed social life for the royal family which the radical feminist claims is one-sided. Mies Greer added, No one wants Meghan's children, they're going to be eighth, ninth in the line of succession. I think it would be more modern of them not to want opening bracket children closing bracket. The Australian feminist is not an advocate of marriage and calls the institution a hopeless system, but speaking to 60 Minutes, she added, I wish them all the best, I hope they have a wonderful life together. Let's hope they're in love, if they're not it's going to be totally unbearable. Mize Greer was asked why Mize Markle would give up everything for Prince if she did not think the relationship would last. She replied, bluntly, why would a girl born in poverty marry a man with 53 million quid? I couldn't think of a single reason. Germaine Greer has previously called Diana needy and too dependent on the love of men. She also does not think Markle is a feminist.